Hey, 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 y'all. It is Amora from morewithamora.com here to do the Oath of Manifestation with you by the beaches of Sisal. So, oh yay! I found a shell and this cool little mermaid looking coin. I'll show you guys. But let's get started. I accept and receive unexpected good, unexpected money, unexpected love, unexpected kindness, unexpected generosity, unexpected offers, unexpected prosperity coming in unexpected ways from unexpected places in my life and the lives of others. I am constantly guided and boldly empowered to receive the lavish abundance of the universe. I accept the principle that abundance and prosperity have already been given to me. It's my acceptance that makes it real and opens the space for manifestation to rush in. I open wide the doors of my consciousness to receive and to give. It is done now. Through this oath of manifestation, all things are possible. I declare absolutely I live in a friendly universe that is always providing for me. I feel it powerfully happening now. I open to receive more abundance and to give more abundance than I have ever experienced before. I can afford anything I desire. In fact, I am so prosperous, I need never worry again. I am grateful for all that I already have and I am grateful for all that I am ready to give. I keep myself lifted in high consciousness. No matter what the appearances are, God is all there is. And I let the God times roll. And so it is, Ache, amen. Highest will for all be done. Again and again and again and again. So I just wanted to talk a little bit about salt water and its uses for clearing and cleansing. I, oh, I was gonna say, did I just lose my, mer my mermaid coin? So I think this is mer money. Look how pretty. I found it. It's kind of trans, it has dirt on it. Hold on. Uh, I need some water. There we go. Ooh, how pretty it is. <sighs> it's the money that mermaids use. So I'm collecting it because I'm a siren too. Um, wait, what was I just gonna say? Oh, so salt water. Just be aware. Allow the salt water to flow. Anytime salt water is present, there is a cleansing and a possible healing taking place. Now, just because you cleanse something does not mean it is being healed because you can clear something out and invite more nonsense, even worse energy back in. And that's not what we want to do, right? So creating a cleansing with your salt water, whether it's sweat, because when you exercise, what are you doing? You're creating a salt from the inside out that clears, cleanses, and gets rid of those emotions, those emotional toxins in the body, all of the stuff that is lodged, all of the issues in the tissues begin to release. You use sweat as a form of salt water cleansing. All right, so then what else do we have? Then we have tears. So many times, especially with men, we're told not to cry, and we don't cry, we hold the tears back. I don't wanna cry over him anymore. I don't wanna cry over this anymore. Maybe you haven't allowed the cleansing to actually take place. So allow yourself in safe and sacred space to release those tears. Let go of that salt water that is attempting to come up and out of you. Of course, we have salt water baths. You can use Himalayan salt, you can use sea salt, you can use Epsom salt. But using that salt, again, it is with your intention that creates the cleansing. I mean, it'll cleanse without you actually setting an intention, but if you set the intention that I am clearing out the old cords that I have had stuck, I am clearing out the old emotions that have kept me stuck, I am clearing out anything between me and what it is that I am going for. Use salt water regularly. And then last but not least, we have this magical ocean that runs deep and wide all throughout the planet. And that salt is magical, magical clearing work. So if you are afraid of getting in the water, I suggest you get over it. There's so much healing in there. 
Now, there are ways of getting rid of, um, of fears, and you just do the work to cleanse them out. So start with salt water baths. One day, the energy of fear around water can go away if you make that your intention. A lot of people have fear of water because of the healing that will be given to them. So if you do, look at the, look at the pelicans. So if you do have fear of water, it's probably because you are going to love it so much once you realize there is nothing to fear. All right, guys. I am so excited that you guys joined me for this manifest and chill. I am grateful, I am thankful, and I hope you join me again soon. Besos.